Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 237, and we are going to be doing lessons four and lesson five together. Okay, our objective or our goal today is, today I will convert, and convert means change, so I will convert or change fractions to decimals. Okay, so that is our goal today, is we're gonna convert or change fractions to decimals. Okay, so we're gonna look quickly at our vocabulary since this is something new. Our first word says decompose a fraction, and we're gonna break it down into smaller parts. So they have 48 hundredths equals 4 tenths plus 8 one hundredths. The reason that that makes sense is because 4 tenths is the same as 40 one hundredths. So what they're saying is 48 hundredths equals 40 hundredths plus 8 one hundredths. They just made these equivalent. Okay, and then they show this in decimal form because if I say 48 hundredths, as a fraction, it looks like this, but if I say 48 hundredths as a decimal, it looks like this too. And the reason is, is because when you say a decimal, you say the number, but then you say the last place value. So the way I read this is 48 hundredths. So you say the number and then the last place value. That's how you read a, a decimal. So I'm gonna say that one more time. We say the number 48 and then we say the place value. So that's called 48 hundredths, just like this one is 48 hundredths. Okay, so I'm gonna get started showing you my examples of this. Here is my first problem. It says write 37 hundredths in decimal form, then place on the number line. Okay. So to say 37 hundredths in decimal form, I know that my last place value has to go to the hundredths. That's where I need to end. It needs to end on the hundredths because that's hundredths and this is hundredths. So then I'm gonna write my number 37 and it fits perfectly in there, so 37. So the way that I read this one is 37 hundredths, and the way I read this is 37 hundredths. I say this last place value. Okay, so I wrote it, and then they want me to place it on the number line. Okay, well, on the number line, what do I see? These are by tenths. So this is by tenths, but this is the same as that, 0.1, which is one tenth is the same as 0 0.10, which is 10 hundredths. So that means that this is the same as, 0 0.2 is the same as 0 0.20, this is the same as 0 0.30, and this is the same as 0 0.40, which means 0 0.37 is gonna go right in between here, and it's gonna be, this one's gonna be 30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, and right there is going to be 0 0.37, right between the 30 and the 40. Oh, I need to scoot that up so you can see that. Let me say that again. So 0 0.3 is the same as 0 0.30, 0 0.4 is the same as 0 0.40, so 0 0.37 is going to be between those two and it's right there. Okay, let's look at our next one. Okay, before I can get started on this one, they gave me an addition problem like we had in our last lesson. So eight tenths plus two one hundredths. Okay, well, I can't add those because those are different denominators, but I know that eight tenths is equivalent to 80 one hundredths. So I could change that to 80 one hundredths plus two one hundredths now that they have the same denominator, I can solve the problem, which is 82 one hundredths. So again, because it's 82 one hundredths, that's where I need to end. That's where my number needs to end. So the 82 is going to go right there. 
eight, and the way I read this is 82 one hundredths. That's how I say that number. And this one I just say 82 one hundredths, so they're worth the same. Okay, this one doesn't tell me we have to show it in a number line, so they are just providing these in case we wanted to use them. Okay, so let's get started on our problem. And you're going to see that one of your problems is the same as the one I did. So we are on page 238, and here's our first one. Okay, it says 71 one hundredths, and they want us to write that in. Okay, well if it's 71 one hundredths on page 238, if I didn't tell you that, that means that's where we need to stop saying. So we're gonna say 78 one hundredths, I'm sorry, 71, which means it will go just like that. So this is equivalent to that. That's how I read this one, 71 one hundredths. Okay, now I've already done number two for you. This is the one that we already did. Um, I'll write it in with you, but I just did this one. So. 8 tenths is the same as 80 one hundredths plus 2 one hundredths. And I had to change that because these were different denominators. And now that they have the same denominator, we could add them. So now we have 82 one hundredths, which means we're going to write it right here. So we can say 82 hundredths, and they will match. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pause your video and you're gonna do these next two problems on your own. And then when you are done, you can turn the page and we are going to be doing lesson five together. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on lesson five, we are going to be continuing this. We're just going to have a little bit more work. So we don't have any new objective or new vocabulary. I'm just gonna get started. So my first problem looks like this and they give me three tenths. That's how I read this, three tenths. Well, if this is three tenths, that means when I say it here, I need to add end at the tenths. So that means there's only one spot there, so I would put my number there. So the way I read this is three tenths, and this one is three tenths. So this one is equivalent to 0.3 because I had to end at the tenths column. Um, now, they also wanted it placed on the number line that's in our directions, so I can place this one in my directions. And it says that we have, see we have, this would be one tenth, this would be two tenths, this would be three tenths, because this has been partitioned into 10 parts. So 3 tenths is right there, which means 3 tenths as a decimal would also be right there. Okay, let's look at our next one. Okay, this one says 7 tenths plus 3 one hundredths. Okay, so I can't add these because they have different denominators. But I know 7 tenths is the same as 70 one hundredths. So 70 one hundredths plus three one hundredths, now they have the same denominator, so now I can add them, and I get 73 one hundredths. And because this is a hundred, that means we're gonna go to there. So that's how I'm gonna write it. So it's gonna be 73 hundredths is how I'll read that. So this is our answer. They also want it on the number line. Well, here's the hard thing. This part, number line is not partitioned into hundredths. It's partitioned into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. So if I know this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and 10 tenths. I also know that seven tenths is the same as 70 one hundredths, and eight tenths is the same as 80 one hundredths. 
So 73 one hundredths must be somewhere in here. It's gonna be closer to 70 than 80. So I'm thinking 73 one hundredths is about right there. Okay, let's try some of these together. We are on page 242. And here is our first one. And it says 42 one hundredths. Okay, so again, because that's hundredth, we're going to go to our hundredths and then we're going to put our number in there. So we have 42. So this would say 42 hundredths and this says 42 hundredths. Okay, and we're going to have the same problem as we had earlier in mind. So that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. And I can stop there because I know four tenths is the same as 41 hundredths and five tenths is the same as 50 one hundredths. So 42 one hundredths is going to go somewhere between the 40 and 50 one hundredths. And it's probably gonna be closer to 40, maybe about there. That's where we could say that we would put, we could either call it 42 hundredths or we could call it 42 hundredths as a decimal. But it's gonna be right about there. Oops, sorry, let me move that up so you can copy that for a second. I'll pause and let you copy that. Okay, let's look at our next one. We have six tenths plus seven one hundredths. Okay, so they have different denominators, so we can't add them, but we know that six tenths is the same as 60 one hundredths. So then I could add them, and I get 67 one hundredths which means we're gonna stop at the hundredths there. So it's going to look like that, 67 hundredths. And we can do the same thing here. So we know that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, which is the same as 60 one hundredths, and seven tenths, which is the same as 70 one hundredths. So 67 one hundredths would be between 60 hundredths and 70, and it'd be closer to the 70. So maybe it's gonna be about there. Okay, when you turn the page, ladies and gentlemen, I've already done this page with you, so you should be able to do it quickly, and then you have two more pages to do. Have a great day.